I just felt the need to come back, YouTube. You know, I just felt the need to come back. You know, uh, you know, it's like we can speak and talk about God all we want. But when it's all said and done at the end of the day, he's the one that's going to judge us. When I look at the cruelty that's happening to our people and just anybody out here, it's it's not even um, just our people anymore. And I know I've said this in several videos. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Hiccups. Reality TV. The real reality TV. Nothing fake. Nothing edited. Just straight up. What you see is what you get. Um, they, I mean, they really need to be held accountable. That's just my opinion of it, man. Because, I mean, if we were out here speeding, stealing, doing anything to violate the law, <laughs> the police will have our ass and handcuffs Quicker than we can even figure out what the fuck happened. You be like, some of these guys are like, what the fuck happened? You know what I'm saying? There are people out here all day that commit crimes. But, excuse me if I'm wrong, police officers, but the crime is what it is because, I mean, when I look at you all, you all got cars and, and whatever you need to go out here and fight crime. But yet you all target the taxpaying citizens, especially if they're not white. <laughs> especially if they're not white. Yes, you attack some of your white counterparts. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. You do it. And y'all treat them all pretty much just as brutal as us. I mean, sometimes y'all treat them a little more brutal than us. But you shouldn't be treating not one, one, not one human being like that unless it's necessary. And you all, the problem with you all, you all give yourself a reason for it to be necessary all the time. As soon as you see black skin or anybody that don't look like you, that's your green light to mistreat. Abuse, kill, taste, brutally beat somebody, it, 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 it don't make no sense. How can you beat another human being like that? That hasn't done a damn thing to you. All because of your speculation, huh? What if another human being did that to one of your family members? That's the part that you all keep forgetting about. If somebody did it to one of you all's family members. Why do we forget that part? Why? You think you can do it to somebody and it's just going to be like that? It's just going to always be like that, huh? <sighs> I really hope you all get it together. I really hope we all get it together as a people. I really do. Because the time is running out. Remember the video I showed y'all? Uh, 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 presented to y'all called The Clock is Ticking. The Clock is Ticking. It's ticking. And for y'all that don't understand me, The Clock is Tick King. <laughs> Your favorite shows that you're watching. Look at how old those people are getting on those shows. Look at yourself in the mirror. You, you, you think you'll be the same every day, every minute, every second? No. Every second, every minute, every, every millisecond is going by. We're getting older. And time is running out. For us to get ourselves together and get ready for God Almighty. God Almighty. It's time to get ready for them, guys and gals. We should have been ready for them a long time ago, but 
Include myself. Include myself. <laughs> include myself. Because I'm not perfect. I done done things in my life. Even now, I'm not fucking perfect. Come on now. Y'all just seen the 211 on the videos a lot, even though we are allowed to drink. But remember, in the Bible it says, not the drunken. So, who is he to try to tell me how to fix myself and he ain't even got himself together? He's sitting around drinking on the videos. He be talking about if he had a blunt in front of him, he'd smoke the bitch and then he cussing and all of this and all of that. I already know how it go. Come on, people. Just because a, guy, a person don't say something that you like in the way you like it or whether they say something you like or not doesn't mean that it ain't the right message. When we stand before God, he will not use profanity. I'm sure of that. But I guarantee you this. He's going to say some stuff y'all ain't going to like. <laughs> Especially the sinners. Especially the ones that's getting judged. Because y'all never, y'all always want to pass judgment on somebody else, but don't ever want nobody to pass judgment on y'all. Those are the ones that I'm talking about. See, I don't mind standing before God and getting my judgment. Because I know what I've done. I'm not going to be in denial of anything that I've done. And, and, and any sin that I've committed against God, I'm just going to, yeah, I did it. Sorry, God, I, I, if you're willing to forgive me, you know, that's how I'm going to be. If you're willing to give me another chance, I'll fix it. <clears throat> but, you know, my chance is now. So I'm fixing myself now. <clears throat> I'm not going to wait till I stand before judgment before God and fix, to fix myself. I'm going to fix myself now. And I suggest that's what a whole lot of people out here need to do. Because you all are really fucking up. Let's put it in the simplest terms. So maybe everybody understand a universal language. Y'all fucking up. I think everybody understand that. Don't y'all. Don't, 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 don't. Why the hell is so every time we curse, everybody seem to understand that. But when we try to talk in peaceful language, nobody never understands that. It's even with the kids. Be quiet, be quiet, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Then they shut up. Why is why is it that excessive force is always gotta be used to get somebody to be tamed? You know? <coughs> but when it comes to police, <coughs> excessive force, physical excessive force shouldn't be used unless it's necessary. But see, the problem with them is that they it, everything's an excuse for them to use excessive force. Everything. You, you, it could be a traffic stop for something that they decided to stop you for. It, it, it ain't nothing wrong with you. You ain't done that wrong. But next thing you know, you're out the car on the floor with your face broke on the ground. Or you get beat and, put, and dragged out the car. Some bullshit. Your rights being violated. What's worse it's when you're being criminalized by your own people, your own family, your own girl, your own boyfriend. If you have a girl, if you're a girl, you have a boyfriend, your own sister, your own brother, your own mom, your own dad, your own cousin. You know, people, people don't like to be criticized, man, especially when they're innocent for not doing anything. It's worse enough, we go like I told y'all before. We go into the gas station, and he will watch all over the gas station. It's very, it's the very same people that smile in your face and say, "Hey, how you doing?" Are the same people watching you in the fucking gas station, watching you, bro. Like I, I didn't call them. Still go to that same gas station and buy my beer or whatever I need, buy gas, things like that. And, and when I walk in the store, they, they mm. the whole time I'm been there. And then as soon as I look up, they like, oh, or walk away or, or something like that. Like, 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 I caught you already, though. You're the same lady that treat me with kindness when I'm at the register spending my money in this place. 
But as soon as I'm in the store shopping, you watching me like I'm about to steal something. That's the type of shit that I'm talking about. All that fakeness, the stereotype that we get for just being this color. For being this color. For being a shade darker or two or three shades darker than what they are. And, and, and yet they're the most judgmental people I've ever seen on this earth. They're the most criminal people that I've seen on this earth. They're the most thuggish. They're the most gangster. It's people that I've seen on this earth. <laughs> Black folks can think they gangsta all they want. The real gangsters are the white ones. The ones that take over everything. That's what gangsters do. They take over shit. They cause a lot of problems. They they put drugs in the communities. They do all this other stuff. And then they lie. And say that it's somebody else. You know, they, they some gangsters. That's what the gangsters do. Thugs, gangsters. That's what they do. We The problem with America is that the, the gangster system is ran by thugs and gangsters. If the system was not corrupt and, and, and it wasn't ran by the thugs and gangsters of the U.S., we'd be all right. That's what the problem is. We got to get the thugs and the gangsters out of offices. Out of the high places that they stole from the people that would actually make this country great again, as Donald Trump say. If that's what his real meaning of it is. Because right now, thugs and gangsters have, have taken over the, the white supremacy has taken over the government. That's what run the government. Because if the government was actually running the United States, this killing and stuff that's going on with anybody... I'm sorry, guys. What would be going on out here? It wouldn't. It wouldn't be going on. It's too much of it happening. And the reason why nothing is being done about it is because we got thugs and gangsters running the United States of America. <laughs> Roger B. Brown. You know, into the mind of Roger B. Brown. And to my mind, Roger B. Brown, I, already, I always demonstrate these videos to you all on this video. See you all to see my earlier days. If you all don't like the cursing and all that type of stuff and don't want your kids to see nothing like that, don't go to the channel. Because those channels got way more cursing than what I do on this channel. You know, and I'm working on it. Like I said, cleaning that mouth up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably noticed that on these new videos... After I want new videos, I don't curse as much. I'm trying to cool it down. You know, say cool it down. Got to cool it down. Slow it down. Got to slow it down. You know, so I'm trying to cool it down a little bit because I just don't want to, you know, um, de decrease my audience. You know, I want my audience to grow once I monetize my channels because you know. I do. I want my audience to grow once I monetize my channels. So therefore, I'm going to cool it down on some of the profanity. So that way, kids can be able to watch my videos and understand that maybe they can learn early that, you know, from a um, hopefully civil rights leader or whatever I become, whatever God molds me into and use me for, that I become. Can teach them and show them the right way you know what I'm saying about life. You know what I'm saying? It, like they say, it takes a village to raise a kid, man. If they're saying it takes a village to raise a kid, that means we all got to bond together to raise one child. Some people have three, four, five kids, a village, just to raise one. That's what they say. If everybody come together. And not allow the law or anybody else out here to play games with us. We can get these kids, our kids, the ones that, you know, will listen because you're going to have some. This is not going to listen to you. This is what it's going to be. That's just the way kids are. But for the ones that will listen, you can mold them into somebody. A doctor, a lawyer, 
the next civil rights leader or speaker out here, somebody that can do something positive to the earth. Yes, they're going to have their trials and tribulations. You're just going to have people out here that's going to hate them anyway. I have my haters. I don't do nothing to nobody out here, but yet I get hated on all the fucking time. So, kids and parents that are going through it, don't worry about it. I got you. And he always will have you. Follow him. And he'll make sure you're straight. I will holler back at y'all. Peace out. God bless you.